figure it out. You gotta love the handy dandy computer, Z Fly. All right, Rob versus Diddy Kong. Yeah, Rob versus Diddy Kong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grayson is actually one of the big uh, Texas Robs, right? I believe so. Yeah, okay. Like... Good old handy. Oh, this is actually. So, this is actually. I'm, I'm getting information through the handy dandy computer. And these are actually both uh, Dallas players, Dallas Fort Worth players from Texas. Which That's makes sense. It, it yeah, does yeah. make sense. But Ooh. to play each other on a Wi Fi tournament <laughs> or an online That's tournament. Right. <laughs> hey, at least they got good connection, right? They got good You're pick. Right. That is very true. There should be mm -hmm. no connection issues with this matchup. But you yeah. know what? We may be seeing some banana issues. This banana starts, you know, put a Ooh. little bit more pressure on Grayson, but Grayson has great control of the stage. Yeah, he's been, uh, like, pretty solidly, like, keeping um, Cuddler kind of at the edge, boxing him out, getting good follow ups. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Diddy's always had decent approach options, but. Rob in this game, with all the projectiles he has, the big hitboxes from his aerials, makes sense it would have, uh, Cutler would have difficulties getting in on Grayson. Yeah, I can definitely see, especially with, you know, Diddy having somewhat shorter range. Also, there's kind of this interesting dynamic, these are both item characters, and I feel like when I watch players who, who main item characters, they're, like, better at using items overall. Mm, so, like, true. when, uh, Grayson gets the banana, or Cuddler gets the gyro, they're gonna be a little bit more accustomed to it. Like, I know that when I have a banana or, or like, a turnip in my hands, I'm like, uh, you know, I'm just gonna kind of throw this at you. <laughs> Ooh, look <laughs> at this! Oh, look at that! Catching the air dodge in! Almost getting the okay. two-frame there. That would have been a really, really clean stock from Grayson. That's true. Just kind of putting on a showcase of Rob's combo game. Grayson was able to steal a banana, and Cuddler taking it right back. Oh, there's the down throw to up air! Yeah, look at that. <laughs> the, the, the gyro and the banana contesting each other right now. Okay, here go those infamous down tilts, but luckily for Cuddler, he only gets hit with the tipper of one and uh, Grayson not able to follow up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Grayson, I mean, this is kind of where, you know, some of the struggles Diddy can, can end up seeing come, come to play, where it's just, you know, the, the, the percent that, see right there, that, that kind of follow up, <laughs> Diddy's not gonna get a kill at that percent, and Rob can, and that's where like Cuddler just has to. It's tough because yeah, he's at 140, but uh, he probably like even to get those up smash kills, he's got to do a little bit more damage still, and he's already on his last stop. Mm -hmm. Especially here on Town and City, but oh no, the blender, but getting a double Ooh. parry. All right, Cuddler fighting his way out of that horrible situation, down mm -hmm. till into forward air to clean up the stock. But Grayson saw his two stocks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is definitely like overtime right now for Cuddler. He's got to play really clean to have a hope of this one. Yeah, make Going back great to the use of that gyro. <laughs> okay, so for two players that are supposed to be having great connection, because they live so close, we got a little bit of lag. Oh, there's a reflector. You know, I was actually curious to see how that the side B for, for Grayson was going to come into play, especially with a peanut gun, maybe some barrels getting tossed his way if he's gonna be able to reflect them and use them to his advantage mm -hmm. yeah that's true both these characters no shortage of uh, projectiles Ooh, good coverage there from cuddler okay landing on a banana but still able to roll away grayson oh there's the barrel <laughs> snipe but still not enough to take out a heavy boy like rob yeah close Ooh, that down tilt! Okay, yeah, he's not gonna press it. He just throws a gyro at him, tries to cover some of his wake-up options. Grayson basically knows he can. He doesn't have to make huge plays, and he can still wrap this one up. That's true. I mean, every trade's gonna go in his favor at the moment. Okay, good mash, being able to get out of that that monkey flip. Mm-hmm. Grayson just continuing to keep his momentum, like just playing at his own tempo. Oh, oh, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> Okay, gyro at the ledge. Bad position for Cuddler. These little hits keep racking up. 190%. Yeah, Just one up air really can convert pretty much any hit into a kill at this point. Yeah, this is super scary. A lot of random straight hits will kill too. I think Nair will just will, will outright KO. Yeah, if he gets caught with up air, that'll do it too. But waiting for mm -hmm. the banana to connect before getting off the platform. Oh! Mm. Wing and a miss! Oh.
Look at that, just a forder walling him out. Yeah, I think that was just a misspacing from Cuddler too, because you saw he did the monkey flip, and he went right over the ledge of that platform. I think he was trying to ledge cancel that to maybe get his double jump back and mix up where he was going to be landing. Yeah. Oh, do I have to hit A here? Oh, I do. <laughs> okay, so 1-0 Grayson. But yeah, I think that's kind of that was the play that Cutler was going for at the end there. Unfortunately, he misspaced just barely to uh, that monkey flip, which would have allowed him to have access to his double jump back, and then he could have pulled out another banana. He could have had you know committed to barrels and retreat to the other side of the stage. A lot of options would have opened up if he did in fact space that monkey flip correctly. Just a little bit, right? Yeah, just. That miss spacing, it just micro spacing really matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a uh, definitely definitely doable. But it's it, Rob is definitely one of those characters. Look at that man, that was like four down tilts. <laughs> but yeah, Rob definitely one of those characters that that you you need to keep your spacing very pristine against because you know his big moves obviously. Damn, I'm actually kind of shocked he survived that. Yeah, great stall from Cuddler. He stopped his momentum. Uh, by committing into the barrels and then charging it just a little bit. Otherwise, he would have been hit by Grayson. That first stock would have been gone. Mm. But just like that, Grayson getting it with the side B at the edge. Okay, De dash attack into forward air. Oh. oh my god, what is this character? <laughs> yeah, man. No, his corner carry is just unreal like with, uh, between both the forwarders and the down tilts. And you're seeing it right now. It's like the same as the first game, honestly. Cuddler not uh, like doing well overall, but just the fact that the early lead goes to Grayson, he's having to play catch up all game, and that's hard. That is very hard, especially when you're going against a character oh. who has as many tools as Rob does, and of course has the weight advantage as well. Yeah, just that much more work you have to commit to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to be really slippery if you're playing, uh, you know, like a character like Diddy against him. You just don't want to go blow for blow. You can't be trading. And of course, okay. Cuddler knows this. Let's see if he can clean it up. Okay, Cuddler not able to really put much pressure on Grayson as he was covering to the ledge. He was able to throw out a banana, Ooh. but with the large recovery that Grayson has access to, he's easily able to avoid it. In fact, you can even see like while Grayson is off stage, he's still being uh, Cuddler's still getting pressured by the gyro that's on stage. Okay, Cuddler getting trapped at the oh. ledge. Ops for the double jump option. Yeah. The pressure is on him because, you know, at that higher percent, he has less legend vault time. Mm -hmm. And Grayson's pressuring him all the more because of it. Just like doing safe nares and things like that. Saying, like, I know you got to do something eventually because you're going to run out. Okay, there is the kill. Max Rage, I think, definitely helping there. I think it, um, with less rage, I don't think that's going to be a KO. But, okay, let's see if he can do some damage here. If he can even up the percentage a little bit before he loses his stock. Yeah, and like you were saying earlier, you know, now's the time to be slippery. You gotta weave in and out, really mix up Grayson, take those approach options that you weren't doing before. Like that, retreating to the other mm. side of the stage, just get out of that dangerous situation. Yeah, and then you try to like, I guess like be reverse back in. Hey, you gotta yeah. mix them up, you gotta be slippery. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that was unfortunate. The gyro that he landed on kind of like interrupted the combo he was going for. Not only did it interrupt him, but it put him like in prime position for Grayson to just grab him and throw him off stage. Yeah. Fortunately, maybe there was some some latency issues there. I don't know. Grayson not with the reaction to get the punish. Yeah, because it definitely could have been a what is down throw, right? Would be the kill throw. Yeah, it could have been down throw, or if he, even if he just wanted stage control, he could have just did a back throw. Mhm. Mm oh, doesn't get the follow up there on the directional air dodge. Close. Ooh, oh, I like that. Oh, you see, almost happened. <laughs> that's gonna do it. Okay, but that was sick though. He knew that bounce off the gyro was gonna happen, and he put the up air almost exactly where it needed to be. But this is a much closer game. Oh, for <laughs> sure. I mean, Cuddler just one or two conversions away from evening up the stocks. Mm -hmm. Only, only at about 50. But here we go, Grayson tacking on his damage. Yep. Oh man. You know, we, the... saw, we saw Cuddler making great use of, like, the platforms in the Game 1, but in Game 2, when it comes to these Pokemon Stadium platforms, they seem to be in Grayson's control. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it definitely does seem that way. And I think one side of it, too, is the fact that whenever he really needs to... Oh, there's the up B, <laughs> the barrel snipe. But um, 
Yeah, whenever Grayson's like, you know what, I'm just gonna pile on some damage. You gotta remember, it is Wi-Fi, and, and oh my god. Oh no, that is that a last little hit. Either that, or he was like, you know, trying to parry. I actually got the stream pulled up, let's take a look. Yeah, could, uh, either way, I'm not sure. Yeah, hard to tell. One way or another, though. Because he was, like, falling below the ledge. Yeah. So it very well could have shield poked. Very unfortunate if it did. But, hey, if you were going for those parries, you know, sometimes sometimes you, uh, it just doesn't work out in your favor. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, um... It's tough, and, and the thing you gotta realize is a lot of these little situations are influenced by online. So like, you know, things like going for parries, or even just a neutral game, like when you see Grayson back off, and just like shoot some projectiles. You saw the way that last start, that stop uh, started was Cuddler kind of ran into like a gyro, ran into the laser, and you know, those are situations where offline you might have the reaction time to shield or jump. But it can be difficult online, especially if there's any, any little bit of lag, um, you know. Uh, that Even kind like, of back just input delay. Input delay. Enough. That's right. Yeah, because the real the real crux of it is that like you know moves that go from being reactable like can become unreactable, and then and then kind of the flavor of the the matchup can change a lot just based off of that, right? Right. Right. Well, good stuff to Grayson. Well, you're gonna see him moving on in bracket. That's I'm right. I'm really surprised to see. Or I'm as excited to see Cuddler versus Grayson just because that isn't exactly a matchup we get to see too often anymore. Like, you think about the world of Smash, the meta, and what it used to be four years ago. We may have saw that matchup. We saw definitely saw a lot more ditties. But to see a ditty rob in this day and age. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a throwback matchup. But I, uh, you know, honestly respect to Cuddler. You can find him in the chat. Says, uh, got bullied because Grayson's mom unplugged the internet. Ethernet. It happens. That's, it happens. That's next level strats. Person. Next level strats. You gotta know. You gotta, you know, everything, every little thing is, uh, is fair game, I guess. <laughs> Man, that's, that's old Xbox Live, uh, insults right there. Yeah. But yeah, I hope everybody is going to enjoy today's event. Um, this is, of course, Crisis Core, which is supposed to be, the, what was it, the prequel to uh, 